Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for a twin flame for the collective. Somebody has some anxiety about this. <laughs> could be you, could be your purse and let's see. I'm just going to randomly put a couple cards on here, you and your person. Now, if you'd like to win a chance at a $140 value reading that looks just like this, except for it'll have two of these cards on here as well. Oops, maybe even a three for. Um, for you and your person, if you're single, whoever you're meant to have coming in, or if you're with somebody already, to find out what's going to happen within your relationship, or even if you're in a relationship and you want to know if you're with the right person, <laughs> however you want to do a reading for the free winner, the winner that wins it will be given a choice on who they want to include in their reading. So let's see here, collective. So you can find out all the details on how to win this reading by going into the channel onto the community tab and I believe it's the second post down from the top and it will tell you exactly how, what you need to do in order to win this $140 value Canadian value of a reading so good luck to you all who want to participate. So I will be pulling the winner on the 10th of June. So if you want to get in on this free reading, I do one every month or I started doing it again. Um, I stopped because comment section had to be closed down, but it looks like everybody's um, being better about the comments. So. I opened them back up. So let's see here. So you and your person, you may need to flip this around, whatever resonates for you or sounds more like you in throughout the reading. Okay, so we got one for you. Now this is your sun sign, how you feel about yourself or how you see yourself. And we have the combined energy on the bottom of the deck. I'm just going to do a little bit of a shuffle there. Just see what comes in. There we go. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, so you may have felt left out on the cold, but somebody's watching you and they're seeing your people, your tribe, or the person you're meant to be with coming in for you. There's openness here. They may want to be open with you about something. Let's see here. We might get another card on you or your person. Yeah, so you're a sweetheart. Somebody may have left you out in the cold here. I feel like you were quite happy with the idea of this person. Maybe they ghosted you here or they didn't. Let's see here. It looks like you both maybe went through a hardship when it came to a poverty mindset or somebody felt left out in the cold one maybe had a hardship here or was experiencing karma here but I feel like somebody is very delighted with who you are how sweet you are they're watching let's get a little bit more here you might be watching this person here I feel like I might be talking with a masculine here you may have felt left out in the cold. Wow, you're looking for your 10th cup. You're looking for that family with the dog and the cat and the whole 10 yards. This is like fairy tale ending here. And what about your person? Wow, they're looking for that offer from you. They're maybe wanting that offer. Wow, maybe it's coming. Let's look. Wow, blessings. <laughs> wow. So this is a blessing. Spirit's kind of trying to tell you whoever 
this is here. You both have gone through a lot, I feel like, and I, somebody sees you as a blessing and you may even see this person when they come in. This may be a new person or this could be somebody from your past. Let's see what comes up. But this is how you feel about yourself. I feel like you know your worth here. And I feel like you know what you want. And your masculine, masculine seems to know too. I feel like they've been through it as just as much as you maybe. I feel like they're looking for that openness. And you're looking for somebody that's very delightful. I kind of feel like maybe you've had some people that have been kind of haven't been kind of young at heart and happy. I, I feel like you may be been around somebody that's been a bit of a stick in the mud. <laughs> that's what I want to say here. Let's see, or too serious, or I don't know, something along those lines. Let's see what your emotions are here with the moon sign. Ooh, okay, well, that's too many. Let's just choose one for you, one for your person. And let's see what we get here. All right, so you might feel this person is too risky. You're holding your vision. Something's too risky here. Maybe having to walk away from somebody. I'm kind of feeling like you don't want to be a fool. Who? What is this? Somebody hasn't made a decision yet about ending something. Don't let your past hold you back. So it looks like your person maybe needs to end something and they haven't made the decision to do that and they're being held back from whoever's in the past. And I feel like you already know, you're like coming in as the King of Pentacles. So perhaps you've gotten, you may have been watching this person and you're looking for that they may have ghosted you, left you out in the cold here, and you're just looking for them to be open. Perhaps they were already in a relationship here. And that may be why you are not willing to be the fool here. You, you may feel this is too risky. You may have been their blessing here. Your person wants to give you an offer, but I feel like they maybe have somebody already in their energy or they felt left out in the cold by you. You both felt like you were <laughs> out in the cold. They may have seen you as somebody very sweet, a delight to be around or delightful type of energy. Is your person with somebody here? Whoa, Ten of Pentacles, family wealth, family legacy. Yeah, somebody is with that tower in reverse here. This, <laughs> this is Mars. This is not wanting to deal with life. This is a denial or a divorce happening here. And it's going to affect their family wealth. They're looking for a legacy they want, maybe want to build with you. But it looks like they might be divorcing somebody here. They may have to pay out some money. I, I see what's going on here now. They see you as very sweet and a delight to be around. Or they know who you are. What you're like. Maybe you have a channel or a platform or some way of them knowing. Maybe they're watching you. Or you're watching them. They're meant to walk away. There's a divorce in the works here. You may have been the blessing. You didn't want to go and take a risk with them because you may have kind of felt they had somebody else that they were with. And this ending's coming up. Two of Swords. This is like, this was a painful choice. They weren't, maybe had, they weren't seeing the truth. But they, they ended it. And they're not going to let their past hold them back. Yeah, don't let pride get in your way. They may have Leo in their chart. 
Wow. Okay. So this person they're with may be pushing their buttons, trying to have them step out of character or upset them in some way here. Well, let's break the deck and see. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So they may need to, uh, in order to relieve some stress, do the meditation and really think about what their heart truly desires, what they really want to do <clears throat> here. And if they're not happy and they're thinking about you, then they've settled and they know it. And I feel like that may be why divorce is in the, or on the table here. So let's see what people see you as and your person as. Oops. <laughs> so I'm just going to go like that. <clears throat> you may be working on your coin here. You, your material success. You're very resourceful, reliable, and practical. Nine of Wands here. So, wow, okay. So this is having a lot of energy or passion, inspired action here. And you've got the courage and you want some adventure. People see you as very adventurous here. Let's see. What else do they see? They see, wow, expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. Wow. So you may have a channel where you maybe give advice, maybe you're a spiritual guru of some sort. What's your person here? Oh, they're checking out all the cups that maybe you walked away from this person or they walked away from you, left you standing there. They maybe needed to speak a truth or you did one of the two here. Truth, there's some truth here. I feel like you already knew the truth. I feel like they know you know the truth. And if they didn't, they know it now. Let's see. People know what the truth is. Yeah, they see you as the mystic or you are a mystic. Magic, I weave magic and surrender to the universe. They, it's possible that they are a manifester just like you, or they are a manifester and you. You're very intuitive here. So you may be a high priestess. You may be able to see through people. The gateway of life, infinite. I have unlimited access to the divine mind. And look at that, there's two people here. Wow. So I feel like you both are in some way connected to spirit here. You may have ancestors, angels, and spirit guides. You may, you may be out of your own control with this, that you're meant to come together to do something for spirit. And whether you like it or not, kind of, <laughs> you two are meant to do something together. I'm going to break the deck on this one too. The Empress of the Night, final. After the storm, I emerge the shiny new star. I feel like you both have gone through some things where you're now seeing your own worth. There has something to do with that. Let me see here for your... Now this is going to be for your... Um, Jupiter, which is your luck. Let's see here. For your luck. So these, there's people that see you too as mystics or connected to the divine in some way, shape, or form. Manifestors or spiritual possibly here. Let's see. What do we have for you? You might be saving for something and you're slowly taking your walls down. Something might be too risky because you've been through a broken heart here. Maybe this person triggers you or you're feeling triggered, but you're saving some money here and you're healing. I feel like you're trying to heal something. Somebody's very serious about you and coming forward, but they may, they may not be able to at this point. They may be going having some financial constraints that are keeping them from coming forward. They definitely want to. 
They maybe want to speak a truth here. Maybe they're the ones that hurt you. You may feel this person, it's too risky to be with this person. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Action. So somebody's going to take action here. And it's number eight. They're definitely taking action. Action, action here. Mastery. Resolution. They might want to resolve something with you here. What are you finding too risky that you don't want to take a leap of faith here? What's too risky? What's the risk? Oh, I see. There's the Queen of Wands in reverse here. Somebody with a temper. Somebody that is in their shadow self, which is a, kind of that evil side <laughs> or the dark side I should say very revengeful has a temper domineering they're they're determined to sabotage you in some way so it looks like this could be this person that they're divorcing is trying to get in the way of this action here hmm Okay, so they're having to go through a few things in order to get to you. And that's got nothing to do with you. That's that's on them. Okay, if, if it's your person, if it's you, then you've got some work to get through here when it comes to this person. And not let them sabotage your connection here. Because this is, I, I feel like... If you two are meant to come together, spirit's going to make it happen. And there's nothing they can do. Look at this. This is your Venus, your love here. This is the lover's card. This is like twin flame to me. This is a lot of attraction, harmony between the two of you, divine love. This is a lot of communication. Yeah, somebody, aw, there's a lot of chemistry here. Let's see. With the Ten of Wands, you're just, you're putting down everybody else's burdens but your own. You're carrying your own wand now. You're not dealing with any, it's on everyone else. You're not carrying the load for them any longer. You've put it all down. You might be single at this time and you are loving on self, the one wand there. But there is chemistry with somebody here, a divine person, and this this could be your person. Yeah, your person's waiting for you. King of Swords once again here. This King of Swords is paying attention to some red flags. Now, they may, may be from this other person here that's interfering that might be filling their head with some crud here. Let's see reconciliation now whether that's with the person they're they're divorcing or whether that is with you let's see give your relationship a chance so it could be with you flirt <laughs> so they might be coming back around here or they are reconciling with their person there is a decision that hasn't been made about something here but, but don't let your past hold you back. This person is going, this person, this other person has been holding this person back for a while. The world card here is an ending. So, hmm. let's have a look and see what these influences actually are with the Juno. Okay, let's see what we get for a card here. And here. I'm going to give you that card as well because it came out. Let's see. What's going on? Oh, there is a new passionate beginning happening here. There's harvest time. This is, oh wow. This is all your hard work paying off here. You're gonna have a chance to breathe with 11, number 11, your ascended masters are saying, you know, you're gonna, oh wow, and it's all faded. Didn't I say that? Spirit's gonna make it happen regardless of whether you like it or not. This is number eight, this is action, this is resolution. So this is gonna all be resolved here. <laughs> oh wow. 
Look at that. So you have nothing to worry about anybody influencing this because spirit's going to make it happen. Yeah, there's a death card. Something has to end before something new can come in for you. Even this reconciliation here. Yeah, they want to work on this. Yeah, unfinished symphony. So they want to come back for you. But they have to end something first here. Wow. What is on the bottom of the deck? Go the distance. So this is something that is... This is 11 again. This is Ascended Masters. This is something that could go for a long time. Something that can last a lifetime, I feel. Wow, we missed something here. This is brutal. I can't believe we missed the relationship part of this. Let's have a look. Before we do the fortune. So what's the palace here? The relationship part for you and your person. Let us see what's going on. Okay, so you're going to have to take a chance, a risk here. Okay, what about your person? Yeah, somebody's sabotaging something and you're going to have to rebuild here. So this is something that's going on. This one wants to come to passion. There's so much chemistry between you and this person. And somebody's trying to sabotage this connection. Yeah, look at that. You may be a Capricorn or your person is, and they have so much desire for you. They may be held in judgment at this time right now because <laughs> of some skeletons in the closet that they did not tell you about, which could have been this other person. Maybe they're married. Maybe they weren't. Um... Yeah, you, you haven't celebrated yet here. You are single, though, and you're not showing your hand. But Spirit's kind of saying, look, you know, you're going to have to take a risk here. How are you going to know if it's going to work out or not if you don't take the risk to see? Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happy. I felt that earlier, this had to do with realizing your self-worth. So this comes in so much for me right now because I feel like you know your worth. Maybe your person didn't, okay? And there's... There's a lot of desire here, and they're they're realizing they made the wrong judgment call here. And Spirit's really putting you in their mind so they cannot think about anything else. I feel like they're... I kind of feel like... You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling like you knew they needed to see this person for who they truly were, their true colors. This is something they're going to see. They were going to pay attention to something, and they were going to see the red flags with this. And you've been waiting for this person to see this. Okay, let's see. What do we have for your fortune aspect? You and your person. Now, this could be love. It all depends on what you seem, what you deem as a fortune for you. It could be love. It could be, okay. So, you may be spiritual or religious here. You've been so patient. You're in the flow. You're at peace. This is the page of wands in the reverse, though. So with the page of wands in reverse, we're looking at <laughs> being impatient a little bit here, having some emotional traumas that maybe you're worried about. I feel like you've healed all that, though, because the temperance is healing as well. Let's see what we get here for your person. They may be looking at some hobbies. Yeah, they've walked away from somebody here, heading towards their empress, I feel. I feel like they're on their way towards you. I feel like this is somebody that realizing what they did here. They made the wrong judgment call here. I feel like they see you as the empress. I feel like they figured they walked away from the wrong person. They're getting into their boat to come towards you. Calmer waters is kind of what I'm getting here. I want to get another card here. 
Somebody might be going through body changes as well. It might be you, maybe your person. On ah, relationship dynamics. So something's going to change here. Ah, you're going to welcome in the new. So this may be a new person coming towards you. They may... I kind of feel like they may have seen you on a platform here. They may have been watching you. In the first part of this, I felt like I was talking to a masculine here. So if you're a feminine, you may have been on this side, or this may have been both masculine energy, or something along those lines. I almost feel like it might be two masculines here. And you're the blessing, if you're the feminine. It's kind of, <laughs> maybe you have two people you are to choose from here. Let's look what's in your current life here. What do we have for the current life here? Wow, we have courtship here. And we have the privileged lady. So I did feel like we have, let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, somebody's going to walk away here from this courtship. Now, whether it's you walking away from somebody here or they are, I kind of feel like, yeah, there's an offer you're drinking out of your own cup. You might be a privileged lady and you're going to get an offer from a king of cups here. Uh, you might even get two. You might be getting a knight of cups and a king of cups. But somebody's got self... I feel like there's self-love written all over this. Maybe somebody's a bit younger than the other you may have two people here that want to court you one of them you're gonna have to walk away from might might have to be one of these two i kind of felt like there's maybe even more than three people here because we have the x as well and we have another person maybe here to sabotage something and then you have the person that you're meant to be with you're gonna walk away from somebody here they've already walked away from somebody to become I feel like become single in order to come forward yeah somebody's going to the courthouse so maybe to get married or to get a divorce or both five is change and that's usually instability and conflict so this could be divorce Let's see what Spirit has to say here. And then we're going to clarify some of this here. What's Spirit's advice here? Spiritual understanding. I'm bringing you information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Wow, okay. There's a divine order here. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlining order. So I feel like that's whoever you're going to walk away from. And you have clairvoyance, man. So you see. You have the spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, you're going to invest in the right person. The Ace of Wands. This is a blessing. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, there's competition here. And there's one here that's satisfied with themselves that's going to be good for you. And I feel like there's competition. Oh, somebody's going to bring you comfort here. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So somebody might hurt you here. Teaching and learning, or they already have. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas, then, re then teach these ideas to others. So you may be a teacher, and you may end up writing about some things here, but there is competition here. What is the combined? Oh, all is well. <laughs> Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hitting blessings, you will soon understand. Wow. Okay, so we have two people here, I'm sure of it, that you have to choose from here. And then there's a feminine that is sabotaging things here. Yeah, and as soon as I said that, look at that. 
We have someone here that doesn't want you to have the strength to take this offer or doesn't want somebody to give this offer. Wow. Oh, look at this for the Empress. So they don't, they do not want the Empress to have this, this person. I feel like you already know this. Somebody's going to be schooled here by this Empress. This Empress is going to teach somebody a lesson here. She's a manifester. Look at that. That may be you. That might be your person. Wow. You're going to get married to whoever this is. You've manifested this. You've learned a lot about things here. And whoever this is, this revengeful well, I could say a name, but I'm not like that. So whoever this angrified person is, they are going to be schooled by you, I feel, or by their person. Wow, this is beautiful, really. I mean, somebody doesn't want this to happen, and they're working hard to try to sabotage something. But Spirit's like, yeah, whatever, because uh, Spirit, Spirit, man, you... you <laughs> You want to have some major karma. You go ahead and try to go against spirit. Monday. Okay. Maybe Monday night you get some ideas or you want to swap ideas with somebody. Maybe seek somebody's advice on something. And Monday is converse with others. Get advice. Maybe you get an idea about something. Number two is balance and alignment and progress here. Wow. Okay. When is the right moment that you're going to meet this person? Two Mondays from now? The number two? Gemini. This is maybe your twin flame. Gemini associate. I associate that with the twins, which is... The lovers, which is twin flames, communication, attraction, a divine love. Wow, searching for an exchange. And with with Gemini here, it says blossoming, unexpected encounters, questions will be answered. There's going to be some sort of balance here. Three weeks, three months. 2105, 2106. I know that's Gemini season, when it starts, when it ends, but check out those numbers for angel numbers and number three channel cosmic powers to create because we're getting ideas right so this may be something that the two of you might do together wow leo's here 2307 and 2308 release the power of your heart five weeks five months okay and with leo it's release the power of your heart festive mood, enthusiastic, your, you warm others. Okay, beautiful. And number five is free will, okay? And take your responsibility, whether your free will ends up getting karma or if you get dharma. And dharma is the opposite of karma. It's obviously the good karma, okay? So, wow, that's pretty great five weeks five months three weeks three months so between three to five months you two are going to come together here wow that's so awesome well collective <laughs> this is your twin flame because I do feel like there is a twin flame here and then two people that want to sabotage things one's a man one's a woman one's an ex here and maybe it's an ex of yours if you're the feminine because we are seeing this empress out here so you may have to switch sides here and there for it to resonate but whatever it resonates for you is how you are meant to receive it so Please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the tribe. If you want to donate, there is a description box below that you can click on. It will take you to a PayPal. And 
just click on that link it will bring you right there and you can also do super thanks or just even watching the videos truly does help sharing liking and subscribing absolutely helps and I want to say thank you to each and every one of you, especially the people that have been don donating. I was able to get some more cards that you see here, and I want to say thank you, thank you for that as well. So stay blessed, guys. Take care, and we will see you all next time. All right. Later.